My name's Ashley Wright. I live here in Dothan, but I'm a volunteer with um, Southeastern Guide Dogs. I'm the area coordinator here. And this is Roman. He's a 15-month-old black Labrador retriever. Um, we got him when he was eight weeks old, and we train him, teach him basic obedience, like sit down, stay, basic commands. Um, and we also teach him more guide dog specific commands like left, left, right, right, down, under. We teach him how to go upstairs, go downstairs, get in the car. But the main thing we do is take him on exposure outings. Um, so he comes to church. He's a member of the choir here. Um, we go to restaurants, the movies. He goes to work with my husband. Um, just anything that he would do with a blind person, we try to expose him to. He's met firemen, so he won't be afraid of the rebreather suits. Um, he's been on trolleys, he's been on bus rides. He does everything that a person would do. And um, we train them until they're 15 months old, and then they go back to the Southeastern Guide Dog Campus in Palmetto, Florida. And he'll train for about six to eight months there with certified guide dog trainers. And he'll learn to cross eight lanes of interstate traffic and lead a blind person across traffic if they had to do that. Um, they'll also learn how to read traffic patterns and they learn how to um, tell when the lights are changing from green to red. They learn intelligent disobedience, which is really important for a guide dog. Um, basically what that is, is they have to know the difference of when they're given a command, if it's safe or not to obey that command. So if they were going into a street and the command was forward for them to go straight, if they were going to be walking in traffic, they'd have to know to disobey that command, which really makes them a lot different than a pet dog. Um, Southeastern Guide Dogs are worth 60 grand when they're totally trained. It's a nonprofit organization and the dogs are free of charge to a blind person. So it's a really, really fun program to be a part of. We have a Paws for Patriots program um, where dogs um, are given to patriots who come back um, who have lost their vision. If the dogs do not make the guide dog program, it's about a 50% pass rate. The dogs that don't go into another field that's called gifted canines, those dogs are anything from therapy dogs, arson detection dogs, um, bomb dogs. We have therapy dogs at Walter Reed Hospital. Um, these dogs are also trained to be service dogs for people with disabilities, so they learn how to help people get dressed, um, open doors, turn on and off lights. They can just about do anything. Um, so it's a really, really great program. Really excited to be a volunteer for them. Good. That would be so mad if you could.